guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. And today, um, we are going to take a look at Ultra Full Power uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I mean, that's just the name I call him. Let's see what his translation is. Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Goku. Just it's terrible. It just doesn't work. Uh, I talked about this with Goresh, and he said the problem with this is them doing a literal translation of the Japanese, but that doesn't work correctly. I swear that the Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 thing I have, I picked up from his translation, but he also says that's not true, so I don't know. Um, I've got a lot of attack equips on this boy. This is because I'm quite certain that for Chain Battle, um, it, it's taking in all their uh, stats into account. HP, attack, and defense. But like things like crit chance and stuff like that, I don't think matters. So I do think you could potentially increase your scores in Chain Battle if like the characters you're using would have like stat equipment on them to raise their stats i'm pretty sure that would help but then again we don't know the full like you know details for how chain battle works right um we have a full level 10 links uh so let's go ahead and take a look right now gt is like a huge big thing for dokkan so you know doing a lot of level 10 link video for a lot of these um gt characters i think is very fitting right now um so we have them linked up with super saiyan 4 vegeto Remember that Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is giving grade 8 power uh, category support type buff. Um, what is Goku's defense? All right, so his defense is a little bit lower because this is this is that that's it. Like that's his max defense, 88k, which is pretty really bad. But I'm pretty sure his damage is actually going to be very good for how old he is. Like I, I'm pretty sure throughout this video we're going to see him putting up very very good attack numbers. So let's see. I mean, yeah, three mil right away. That's, that's not bad. I'll take that for sure. Um, this Goku also does have a fantastic Link set as well. All right, there's the second super attack. Uh, I guess a, another weakness for him is that his super attack effect, the only one he has is he massively lowers defense, right? That's not really going to give us too much. Like, who cares, right? Like, it's not really that good. Um, oh, yeah, we have 50% support TN, so we definitely want to get him um, on the other rotation uh, along with Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Again, I'm pretty sure throughout this video, we're going to see him maintaining consistent, really good attack stat numbers. Um, but just like, you know, again, his defense will be in the low end. So when this guy is up for an EZA, um, you know, just uh, like really buffing his defense, I think would be good. I think potentially giving him like, like maybe like guaranteed crits against like GT bosses could be a good way to go about it. You know, we'll see because... Right now, I'm recording this just before the OG 2 Anniversary Super Saiyan 4s get their EZAs. So, it's it's hard to say exactly how they're going to do. You know, maybe seeing what they do with those EZAs will give us a better idea of what they might do with um, this full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku's EZA, right? Alright, so we're going to have everything active here except for Saiyan Lineage. That's pretty good. Um, now, okay, so we're up to basically 100k defense. I do want to point out how great his Link set is. So, he's got Super Saiyan. Saiyan Roar, Prepared for Battle, Shocking Speed, Saiyan Lineage, GT, and Fierce Battle. Just an unbelievable Link set. That is going to allow this Goku after his ECA to blossom. He is going to be crazy, right? Because he has four major key links right now in Prepared for Battle, Shocking Speed, Saiyan Lineage, and GT. Really, really good. And then uber common attack links in Super Saiyan and Fierce Battle, right? So his link set is ultra good, and that's going to be really, really good moving forward. Um, all right, so let's go and see how much damage he does in this rotation right here. Again, with everything active uh, except for Saiyan Lineage. Remember, Saiyan Lineage and Prepared for Battle give the same buff at link level 10, which is two key, 5% um, attack and defense. And Saiyan Lineage will allow this Goku to work better with, like, um, Tech Ultimate Gohan. How about the new GT Super Saiyan Goku Dokkan Fest? All right, so 3.21 right there. Um, I should also mention that this Goku, so he gets 100% attack at the start of turn. Then he gets um, up to an additional 70% attack and defense. The more HP remaining, the greater the stats buff. So, you know, we do want to throw out the showcase. I do want to remember to, to make sure that this Goku is, you know, very high health. Um, so that we're not really... Oh, come on. No. I really want this next rotation, but... Oh, this sucks. Yeah, him transforming is really bad. No! There's no way... Oh, my God. There's no way I I think we can, like... Oh, no! And Supremo by the time is on rotation. No! Okay, they don't share any links. That's good. That's good. That's good. 
Okay, I'm gonna use a uh, King Yama right here just to make sure we don't really take any damage. So Goku has nearly full power. Oh boy. All right. Well, I mean, the Vegitos are gonna be like double supering and shit, and there's not really too much about that that I could do. I think. Uh, actually, uh, either Pycon or the enemy Goku and Vegeta should survive, right? They should. Um, yeah, that's that's not a lot of damage. Okay. Whew. Man, I I saw double Vegito Blue right here on this rotation. I was like, oh, come on. Because I really want that next rotation, right? Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Um, oh, no. <laughs> oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Oh. Yes, yes, they lived. He lived. He lived. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's really good. Okay. <laughs> All right. I used the King Yama, so we won't take any damage. No, they didn't live. Well, he's, he doesn't get key in the third slot, right? So he's only going to do one super attack. Whew. Okay. He's only going to do one super attack right here. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> yeah. The, the five-year anniversary blue fusions, man. They're much better than people give them credit for. I promise you of that. Okay. All right. I got to I gotta make sure to finish PyCon off right here, by the way. Okay. So I guess we could just put ultra full power Goku right here. 111k defense, that's a little bit better. Again, we have, what, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Roar, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle active. Don't forget, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is very good, by the way. Um, he's not like, you know, a mega top-tier Dokkan Fest exclusive like Videl or GT Goku or in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or anything like that. But he is still very, very good, um, even to this day, right? He'll be very solid, especially with all these Super Saiyan 4s. 3.55. All right. Um, ult now one really good thing about this super full power, ultra full power, super saiyan 4 Goku, whatever. He's on like 500 different category teams. So we could do a bunch of different teams here. We started, that was a uh, final trump card slash Pitar, right? Which, you know, it's so like some of these teams are just so easy to build now. There's so many units in Dokkan. So let's keep going. All right. So now we're over here on the miraculous awakening slash universe seven team, uh, linking up with super saiyan 4 Goku. We will get six out of seven links. The only difference is, I believe, we have Saiyan Lineage here for Ultra Full Power Goku, and then SCR Super Saiyan 4 Goku's got Kamehameha instead. So, uh, what's our defense? Oh, 133k. Wow. Okay, okay. That, 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 that's... I mean, that, that, here's the thing. That's not like, whoa, super good, but that's just much higher from the first defensive stat we saw from this video. And obviously, we're getting a lot of support from Android 17, but again, still, that's, that's much higher than what we saw from before. Um, all right, so we'll take a super attack right here. This will do a little bit of damage. Uh, remember that entering the rotation is where... Oh, I don't know, I actually tanked that. But entering the rotation, that was pretty... What was that? 3.3 with no support, by the way. So that's pretty good. That, that, like, that's, not, that's not bad at all. 3.3 million, no support. This guy is going to be... He's two months shy of being uh, three years old, right? Um, and, you know, a unit released only a couple months before him has now gotten an easy A in, in UI Goku. So keep that in mind as well. All right. Um, uh, we're basically at full health, but I'm just going to go ahead and use a Dende to make sure we're at actual full health. I guess we could just finish off this Vegeta right here with our active skills. Um, again, one of the main strengths of this Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku and a reason why, like, his easy A is going to be so crazy Right, because like if they like if this guy becomes just a balanced like monster, right, shooting out like five or six million attack stats with like 200k plus defense, which is probably his destiny as an EZA at bare minimum, right? I mean, he's on Shadow Dragon Saga, Pure Saiyan, Full Power, Goku Family, Final Trump Card, All Out Struggle, Grid Eight Power, Connected Hope, Turtle School, Miraculous Awakening, and GT Hero. So like this Goku has gotten several category teams just in the last several months. What is he on? So in total, he's on what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 category teams is a pretty good number. Like 11 category teams. I'll take that. Absolutely. Okay. So here we go. Now we're going to get this same good rotation. Well, actually, no. Yeah. Same lineage. Okay. Okay. This Goku will have all seven links active. All right. So we're at 121 K defense. Don't forget that Roshi um, is a support type unit for all of turtle school. So this is actually a really good rotation for the Super Saiyan 4s right here, because not only are they, you know, activating, like, nearly all of each other's links, but then Roshi is giving them 3 key and 40% attack and defense, right? R LR Roshi is really good, because uh, Turtle School, basically that Roshi supports every single Goku in the game, right? If you think about it in that manner, like, that Roshi is sick right there. 3.79, so... Uh, Ultra Full Power Goku, he's putting up some good numbers, man. 
he's putting up some some solid stuff. I guess let's see what Super Saiyan STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku does right here. Should be maybe a little bit less, yeah, but still good. This guy gets an easy in like two days from me. Like, okay, sure, <laughs> sure. All right, so now we're over here on the Great Eight Power slash uh, Shadow Dragon Saga team. Uh, we will go ahead and see how our boy is going to look here. Um, again, just trying to get him to interact with a bunch of different Super Saiyan 4s. Here you now we have the LR Super Saiyan 4s. Again, we'll be able to get all of our links active except for Saiyan Lineage right here. This is no support as well in a full 170% uh, like uh, lead team right here, uh, which Great 8 Power gets from Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So let's go ahead and see how much damage our boy Super Saiyan 4 Goku is going to do right here. 3.3. I mean, see, he's putting up very consistent numbers. Like, right? Like, if your health is, is high up, he, this boy is doing good damage. Like, really good damage. Um, I kind of would like to take a little bit of damage, I think. Maybe see how his attack might go down a bit. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see, though. I mean, I don't... I guess that is relevant, right? Because it's almost like, um, it's the same type of, like, slider effect that Bojack has. Well, sort of. Because Bojack, what, he has more attack as your health is higher, and he gets more defense as your health gets lower. Whereas this Super Saiyan 4 Goku, it's just straight up, you know, higher attack and defense. Uh, the higher his, um, uh, HP is, right? Alright, so let's just get rid of this phase right here. I'm gonna put, uh, AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta right in front. So, like, if we want to take any damage right here, that's totally fine, right? Yeah. Oh, he countered! No! I did not mind taking damage right there, man. All right. Uh, now, in this next rotation, we're actually going to have Physical Nova Shenron. I do not run Physical Nova Shenron very much, right? Um, but he does give Shadow Dragon Saga Category Super Class Allies 40% defense. Um, and he does link up, I mean, fairly well with, like, Super Saiyan 4s, right? Because he's going to have Shocking Speed, GT, and Fierce Battle. I mean, that's not bad. Right? Like, that's one strength of all these GT characters, right? Is, is having these consistent links. See? Like, right here, boom. We have three links right there. Not bad. Um, yeah, we, we do want to do that because we'll get shocking speed from Nova. Sure. Let, let's let's just put Nova in slot one right here. Um, we'll, we'll go ahead and get his super attack. Because, again, I don't use physical Nova very often. He is a weirdo unit, man. I don't really know what they were thinking with him. Um, I know he, he's been useful for global players. Because, like, he came out before the Global Extreme Super Battle Royale Shadow Dragon Saga stage did. I mean, if you're, like, a newer JP player... Like, this Nova's really good in the Shadow Dragon Saga Super Battle Royale stage, of course. But, like, that's pretty much it. I mean... Because it's like, like, you know, like, oh, in the future, is there going to be a GT Bosses category stage? In which, you know, he buffs Shadow, Shadow Dragon Saga Super Class Allies. So, like, he doesn't even, like... This Nova really probably should have been on GT Hero instead. I don't know. It, it's it's odd design, I would say. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I would definitely argue it's very odd design. This was back-to-back -back banner units. Physical Nova Shenron followed by Tech Zangia that were just, like, really mid. And it's just insanity because then, like... You know, like, like imagine if Zangia was, like, some disgusting, like time traveler support unit or space traveling warrior support type unit right like imagine if Sangia was similar to like what gohan and goten are the gt gohan and goten like it'd be so crazy all right so this is a pretty good rotation right here um again we're gonna have six out of seven links 130k defense and you know, we have a fair amount of support let's go ahead and see how much damage we do in this rotation um after this i'll cut the four play and we'll head over to the gt hero category team i mean the gt hero team is one of my favorite teams in the game right now um all the orb changers now the crazy supports it's just such a good team it's just it's so damn good um all right so goku gets us to 3.49 all right yeah so let's head to this gt hero category team now and we will finish up over there all right guys so now we're over here on the gt hero category team definitely where we will be able to get some nasty stats of course uh, so we'll have Saiyan Lineage GT as well as Fierce Battle active on this turn. 100k defense, okay. Um, let's go ahead and see what our boy does. And then, of course, next turn we can get the B-Pan active skill. I do like getting these in here, right? Like one turn of the B-Pan active skill, but we have several turns of no support. We have a bunch of tur turns of a bunch of support. So it's just like we're just seeing this Goku in a variety of different situations, right? That's how I sort of like to do these. Um, LRB Pan, that active skill, 
I mean, after her EZA, her guaranteed damage reduction, early super attacking, her stunning, uh, she just provides a lot, right? Like, running B Pan is not just like a meme, like, sort of like showcase thing anymore. Like, you know, you really can just toss her in there. Like, she's gonna link well. She's just got a lot going on for her now at this point, right? All right, so let's go ahead and sit our girl Videl down real fast. Um, and then we will continue on and we'll see what ultra full power super saiyan 4 goku can do on this next turn now of course we're going to run him with that uh super saiyan 3 gt kid goku still really 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 big um that unit like with all the super saiyan 4s because he's got saiyan roar um he's going to have a lot of links with them and he's got the support as well so he's just going to work really well with all these super saiyan 4s right because again saiyan roar at level 10 links is 25% attack and 10% defense. A really strong link. Um, honestly, I feel like so they could have even maybe given that a key as well or something. I, I, I do think so. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and see how we do right here. So this is going to be Goku with everything active except for prepared for battle and shocking speed. So there is sort of like 5% attack from links we could get right there. Um, uh, we'll go ahead and let this Goku super attack. There's no way he finishes off uh, Videl and Gohan. We'll pop B-Pan's active skill, 94k defense for our boy Goku. But, I mean, that Super Saiyan 3 Goku does not give defensive support. He's only giving attack support, right? So, all right, let's see what we get on this turn right here for Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So, uh, let me know what you guys think of him. I think he's, he's, he's still a fine unit, right? Like, I definitely am not running him at main rotation right now. Defense is way too low. But he certainly can put up decent um, attack set numbers, right? Like, his damage is fine. Um, all right, yeah, we got it, Gohan and Videl. Get out of here, you bums. Okay, and Goku gets us a 4.92. Not bad. Um, obviously, Goku has a lot of start-of-turn attack, so like B he interacts really well with B-Pan's active skill, right? Like, he's going to get a huge, huge jump from what she's able to do. I mean, this Goku had basically a 5 million attack stat. I mean, I I'll definitely take that, right? So, again, let me know what you guys thought of him. Uh, at full level 10 links right here. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, let me know what you guys thought of him at full level 10 links right here. Uh, he is a bad, bad boy. That's for damn sure. Um, and he's on a lot of category teams, full level 10 links. This guy's just got a lot going for him. So thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, and I'll catch you all next time.